Now, what I want to do is a comparison between group chats, threaded channels, and channel posts. Seeing those different conversation options. Group chats are a bit like ad hoc conversations. If we just find one down here, this one was all about uh, managing the conversation while we were walking the floor and supporting people uh, in the new office. Someone starts a group chat by inviting two or more people. Uh, so here we have those people. And then the group might include some people from outside of the organization too, just based on who um, can join conversations externally. The conversation style in a group chat is back and forth. Uh, and this has been quite commonly chosen by organizations. They quite like that because it's just easy to go back and forth. Um, and it's like a stream of consciousness. So this is something that is not only in our group chats, but it's also what the threaded conversations are um, offering within this new format. So if we go back down to our support, that back and forth stream of consciousness is what it's offering here in this new experience. Whereas if we go back into a channel post, such as first floor, which I've changed back to the post format, this is reply and post. It is conversations. You're encouraged to put a, a subject there as well. And any replies are all just kept together in that, uh, in that thread. Now replies, if we compare, we have an option in our group chats to, to quote reply. Now in our conversations that are back and forth and a lot going on, uh, sometimes that's the only way to say, this is what I'm replying to. If I just posted something at the bottom here and, and I was referring to a message further up, there'd be no other way of doing it. But if I wanted to reply to Matt's specific post here, I can hover, I can use that reply with quote. I can say, this is my reply and Matt will know that that's what I'm talking about. And uh, as a further bonus, this quote reply allows me to click on it and jump straight up to that full message and I can read it if it's uh, too long to fit in that quote. Now the quote replies, they're available in group chats, but they're also available in our new threaded format. So if we go back into our support channel and we'll find a longer thread, this one here with six replies. So we've got our conversation in the thread replying to this specific message uh, that I can reply to Matt by using a quote and say, thanks, Matt. So that means that even in this threaded format, I do have another layer where I can reply to specific messages in this thread and be quite clear about what I'm replying to in the threaded conversation, which I don't get to do within a channel post. We don't have the quote capability to do that. Uh, again, go back into that first floor um, and maybe I want to quote post here. Laura, I don't have that option to quote. So one benefit there of having a uh, threaded channel. The other option we have, we've got quote replies, but we've also got threaded replies. That is the topic of today's talk, really, uh, that we're able to bring these threaded replies into a channel experience. So threaded channels uh, will have the threaded replies, as we see, uh, just like we can with our regular channels that are posts and replies. We can re reply to these. And so they are kind of the best of both worlds, that we have that uh, back and forth chat kind of flow, but we can also reply to specific messages in this channel, and we can have a thread on it. Subjects. Well, when we're replying or adding a message to a uh, channel here using the threaded format, there is no subject. We don't have to put them there. In fact, it's not really even encouraged. Uh, the only way you're going to see that is if you will use the format button and maybe use a subject at this point. The group name. 
for this channel is really the subject, the big topic about what we're discussing. The exception to this is meeting chats. And so we know that when we have a conversation in a meeting, regular meeting, that the chats that are happening in that meeting are actually group chats, and they have a meeting subject. So effectively, they're also coaching us towards um, naming our conversations. Subjects are encouraged in channel posts, and channel post formatted channels. As I start that new post, my cursor actually starts within the adder subject. I've expanded here and I'm encouraged to say what is this post going to be about as I begin to craft my message and then I can get onto my message and post it. And that's a good good way to use posts within the post formatted conversations. Whereas subjects are optional in our uh, threaded conversations and in our group chats, our group chats, well, the group chat itself, the name of the group, is effectively our our big uh, subject for our group as well. So no conversation subjects here, um, but we are using our group name to clue us in in terms of what the subject is for what we're discussing. In terms of notifications, I think this is a big, big uh a point here to make about group chats. When we group, when we join a group chat and we're a member of it, man, you know, bzz, bzz, bzz in my pocket, you know, as people are frequently and are quickly responding to conversations there, I often mute them because it just gets a bit, bit too much. And so those are your options. If you want to manage those notifications, you can mute the chat or you can leave the group chat. <laughs> Um, notifications for followed threads, well, that's a, a definitely um, a new and different story. Uh, so while we have our followed threads here, uh, we know that the threaded format for channels uh, uses this, and our conversations in our channel post format are also going to end up here in followed threads. So we can unfollow threads and follow threads that we're interested in. When we think of mentions across the three experiences, we have personal mentions that can be used in a group chat. All right, so you can mention someone's name specifically here. There it is. You can do it within a threaded chat. You can do it within a channel post. Fine, that's good. What about when you want to address all members in a conversation? In a group chat, we've got uh, the at everyone, right? So that is going to send a notification to all members of that group chat. Um, when you want to address the whole team within a conversation, in our regular channels uh, for the post format, we've got our first floor uh, that we can use the at mention team and so that's going to send a notification to all members of the team. Um, we've also got the option to at mention the channel. And so these are two options that we can use even within our threaded channel format. Going back into support, we've got a threaded format. Uh, we can use our at channel or rather at team to begin with. So that will again bring everyone into this conversation. Uh, and let them know about this message. They'll get that notification. Uh, and our channel, as we saw earlier, will send a notification to people who have the channel displayed in their channel list, but not for those who don't. So they still operate the same. You have tag mentions. Tag mentions will still work and use uh, work within the... Uh, the threaded format, so a tag, this was called the, ooh, let me just remind myself of what that tag was called, manage tags, and it was called transition team, that's right, All right, so at transition team, and so that's going to um, mention the two members that are part of that tag and that will work within our uh, threaded channel format. 
it also works in that if you mention a tag in a reply, like over here, let's do that, at transition team, uh, hi, <laughs> then that is going to make the members of that tag follow that conversation thread. So it works the same as mentioning an individual person. Uh, it could be a good one to, to think of when you want to bring in members of a tag that may be their subject matter experts and they could help reply to something in a thread within a threaded format. Now we've seen our different reading options. We've got uh, the reading options within our group chat. Um, so that that has been, the, I guess, the, the main challenge with a busy conversation or busy group chat that we've just got to scroll back. We've got to keep going back and back and back to find that, that history and catch up with things. And that's really where the group chats and that group chat format are more about focusing in on the here and now. We don't really want to scroll back and, and try and piece together the conversation. So we've just got to focus on what people are currently talking about in this virtual room. Reading the messages for our threaded conversations, uh, you're either going to uh, visit the the channel that has the threaded format and you can use the panel here that we saw earlier so that will show us all the threads for this specific channel or you can go in and see all those followed threads across all the channels and teams that you are following conversations threaded format and the co the channel post format too and i think the, the last uh, significant difference here between uh, group chats, threaded uh, channel posts, and channel posts, uh, is that uh, the membership, right? When we have a group chat here, uh, we can add people to it, um, but we don't have a concept of an owner here in a group chat, uh, that any group member can invite someone else to join this chat. Uh, and if you want to leave, you just leave. Whereas members of a team have that concept of the team owner. And so there's a lot more control over that. Uh, that when you invite someone into a team, then they have access to the conversations and they can be part of this uh, when it comes to private teams. Public teams, and they can have organizational members choose to join the team. Teams have owners and people can leave the team when they choose to and when they wish. So across um, teams formats, there is a lot more control over who is uh, allowed to be part of the conversation.